Welcome. In this video, you'll learn how to customize out-of-box role definitions in Dynamics AX 2012 using the new System Administration UI. If you're new to developing security definitions in AX, I encourage you to watch my other video on how to develop role definitions in Dynamics AX. It also gives you a general overview of role-based concepts in this version. The resource pointers are provided at the end of this presentation. Let's start with our rich client. Since I'm already logged in as a system administrator, I have access to all this set of functionality. In a typical scenario, you would be developing role definitions in the AOD tool and modifying only some of the role system administration view. However, system administration view does provide you rich UI to create new roles or modify existing roles or privileges. But it is always recommended that you develop role definitions in the AOT tool. The reason for that is once developed in the AOT tool, you can use the same model to be exported and re imported back to your different environments if needed. Let's see how we can develop some role definition in the system administration view. There are multiple ways of doing this. First, you can go to the users tab in system administrator and click on a user. And as you can see, this user already has some of the roles assigned. Let's say we want to edit this particular role. Click on Edit Role. And this brings up the Edit Role view, where on the left-hand side, you see all the roles. And on the right-hand side, you see the duty and privileges associated with that particular role. Let's look at a different view. Close this. Go to System Administration again. And now, under Setup, Security, you can see there's security roles, security privileges, and record level security views. You can click on security roles, and this brings up the same UI we saw earlier, where on the left hand side you see all the roles, and on the right hand side you see duties and privileges for that particular role. For, for our example, let's use fleet management role. So I have a role called fleet management branch manager that will be modifying. As you can see, it already has FM basic duties, FM managed cars, and FM workflow manager privilege. Let's go ahead and do add. This particular view shows you the process cycle view where you can select a duty like approved BOM or select approved BOM versions privilege to assign to that particular role. There's another view as well, where you can go to duty or privileges. This view shows you all the duty and privileges that's available for assigning to that role. Let's filter this by FM. We can do control F, let's type in FM star. This will list out all the duty and privileges that starts with FM. For our example, the fleet management brand manager does not have FM view inventory privilege. So let's add this. Anything else you see checked here means that this particular role already has those permissions. Let's also check FM rent cars and click close. You can see immediately that those privileges have been added to the role. Let's close this. Go to the users. Select MBS user 2. This time we'll assign the user FM branch manager. Go to fleet. That's our fleet management branch manager. Click OK. Click close. Let's go to the user again. One view I'd like to show you is a list of privileges already associated with that particular role. As you can see, FM rent cars and FM view inventory has been added to the role and to this particular user. Let's close this. The second example I'd like to show you is how to create a new role. Let's go back to our system administration view, security roles, and do new here. We want the AOT name to be FM, FM Demo Manager. We'll do add. Again, let's go to the duty privilege view. 
quick filter and let's filter by FM and what we want to do is we want this particular manager to be able to view records for customer manage customers and edit customer information so those are the three privileges we'll add to this particular role. let's close this and close and there you have it the new role called FM demo manager let's go to users again for MBS user 2 we'll remove fleet management branch manager and add a new role that we just created FM demo manager and click OK if I select this now you can see all the privileges associated with the roles on the right hand side so this is how you customize existing role in the system administration view and also create a new role from the same view similarly you can also manage security privileges from the system administration view for example in the process cycle conversion cycle we have duty called approved BOM and a list of privileges called approved BOM versions approved BOMs and view BOMs let's say for example on view BOM, BOM privilege we want to add another entry point you could simply do that by clicking on add on the right hand side it lists all the menu and the menu items for that for different areas of AX for our example let's say accounts payable common payments and the menu item we want is payment journal so for this menu item will give this privileged view access and as you can as you can see ledger journal table event payment list page menu item has been added to this privilege let's close this so that's how you customize the existing privileges hope this was helpful thank you for watching